Good afternoon, good evening, or good night, boys and girls. This is Mr. Cuppy coming to you all the way from Tonnelly Elementary School into your house. How are you? Okay, so I thought to myself, every student should have a chance to get to listen to somebody read them a story at least one night a week. So, for your nightly reading, if you choose, you may listen to me read a story one night each week. So every week I'm going to post a new video of me doing a nightly read aloud that you can listen to as I read out loud. And you can just kind of relax and enjoy yourself. So for this week, I have one of my absolute favorite books to read. And this book is called The Recess Queen. The Recess Queen. You're going to hear a lot of things that you might find familiar. You might say, hey, that's happened to me before. Or, hey, I've done this before. So let's listen to the Recess Queen and let's listen to, uh, to any lessons or morals that we might learn from hearing this story. <clears throat> the Recess Queen. Me, me, me. Okay, I'm ready to go. The Recess Queen. Mean Jean was Recess Queen and nobody said any different. Nobody swung until Mean Jean swung. Nobody kicked until Mean Jean kicked. Nobody bounced until Mean Jean bounced. If kids ever crossed her, she'd push them and smush them, lollapalush them, hammer them, slammer them, kits and kajammer them. Say what, Mean Jean growled. Say who, Mean Jean howled. Say you, just who do you think you're talking to? Mean Jean always got her way. Until one day. A new kid came to school. Katie Sue, a teeny kid. A tiny kid, a kid who might scare with a jump and a boo. <clears throat> but when the recess bell went ringity ring, this kid ran zingity zing. For the playground gate, Katie Sue swung before Mean Jean swung. Katie Sue kicked before Mean Jean kicked. Katie Sue bounced before Mean Jean bounced. The kid might scare the, the kid who you might scare with a jump and a boo was too new to know about Mean Jean, the recess queen. Well, Mean Jean bullied through the playground crowd, like always. She pushed kids and smushed kids, lollapalooshed kids, hammered them, slammed them, kits and kajammered them, as she charged after that Katie Sue. Say what, she growled. Say who, she howled. Say you. She snarled and grabbed Katie Sue by the collar. Nobody swings until Queen Jean, Queen Jean sit swings. Nobody kicks until Queen Jean kicks. Nobody bounces until Queen Jean bounces. And she figured that would set the record straight. But she figured wrong. Katie Sue talked back, just as sassy as could be. She said, how did you get so bossy? Then that puny thing, that loony thing, grabbed the ball and bounced away. Oh, Katie Sue was one quick kid. She bolted quick as lightning. Bounce-ity, bounce-ity, bounce, kick-ity, kick-ity, kick, swing-ity, kick, swing swing-ity, swing.
Mean Gene thundered close behind. Bounce itty, kick itty, swing itty! The recess queen was not amused. She raced and chased and in your face, that Katie Sue. No one spoke, no one moved, no one <gasps> breathed. Jean just gaped and stared, as if too scared to move at all. Sorry, boys and girls, Mr. Cuppy skipped a page. Then from her pack pulled Katie Sue, a jump rope clean and bright. Hey, Jeannie Beanie, sang Katie Sue. Let's try this jump rope out. Here's one thing true until that day. No one dared ask Mean Jean to play. But that Katie Sue just hopped and jumped and skipped away. I like ice cream. I like tea. I want Jean to come jump with me. Jean just gaped and stared as if she was too scared to move at all. So Katie Sue sang once more, I like popcorn, I like tea, I want Jean to come jump with me. Then from the side a kid called out, Go Jean, go! And too surprised to even shout, Jean jumped in with Katie Sue, I like cookies, I like tea, I want you to come jump with me. The rope whizzed and slapped. Faster, faster, the rope spun and flapped. Faster and faster, till it caught in a tangled disaster. But they just giggled and <laughs> jumped again. Well, now, when recess rolls around, that playground is one great place. At the school bells ringity ring, those two girls race zingity zing. Out the classroom door, Jean doesn't push kids and smush kids anymore. Lollapalooch kids hammer them, slam them, kids and can jam them. Because she's having too much fun, rompity romping with her friends. Bouncity, kickity, swingity, hoppity, skippity, jumpity, ringity, zingity, yes. Boys and girls, so I just read that book to you, and I want you to think, well, was Mean Jean kind of a bully? What do you think? Was she kind of a bully? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, well, how was she a bully? What were some of the mean things that she used to do? Okay, that. Absolutely. And, you know, if I was out at recess and there was somebody like Mean Jean, would I really want to play with Mean Jean? No, because I don't like to be hurt or be kicked and kajammered and polluted and lalasamooshed. So I want to have fun with my friends out at recess. So Mean Jean did learn a lesson, though. She learned that nobody's going to want to play with you unless you act nice. Boys and girls, thank you for listening to my story this week. Have a wonderful night. If you want to count this as your nightly reading, that is okay with me. Have a fantastic evening, and I will see you tomorrow.